Greetings, folks. T. Mont back again for another drive time. We had a uh, or a protest was sponsored in uh, Habersham County, Clarksville, Georgia, this past Saturday, and I attended. I was one of the speakers along with several other notable in individuals: Catherine Bernard, Andrew Hunt, Amanda Swafford, uh, the latter two candidates for Senate and the governor's office uh, whom I support by the way uh, but at any rate I need you all to understand something the message that I brought was this like I've said to people when it comes to the troops don't come on my wall or approach me to bash the troops about what you think the troops should be doing when in fact you should be doing everything that you can to fire the people that send the troops to war in the first damn place. That's where it starts. Okay, you don't uh, 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 attack the result of an action. You attack those responsible for the initial action. And, and that's how you change that. And what I said, basically, I'm not up here to talk about the police officers who threw in a militarized, a uh, weapon, a flashbang grenade. Give me a break. Have we become enemy combatants now that they have to use grenades to toss into a home? But that is what is happening. I think somebody told me something about 2,700 armored tanks have been distributed across the country to various police departments. This stuff is getting out of hand. And you got, um, um, what is it, the Food and Drug Administration? I think that's who it was requesting armored vests okay so folk these people are gearing up for stuff because people are starting to slowly wake up but not enough there are still many who suffer from my guy syndrome which brought me to the crux of what i was saying and i say some of you people out here that are protesting i'm gonna make some of you mad i already know that but some of you people out here protesting already are either supporters of purdue or jack kingston Jack Kingston, chief among those that have violated your constitutional protections, the Fourth Amendment, the right to be left alone. These no-knock warrants violate that because it's based on flimsy evidence from felons, that's who they're taking the words for in most cases, who have already been caught in some illegal activity and to not go to jail are eager to please the police so that they can continue to do the things that they do. This is what is happening. But why is it happening? Because we keep electing politicians, I told them those down there under the Georgia Dome, that pass the legislation that makes this possible, and then judges who acquiesce, knowing that they shouldn't be doing it in the first place, but they sign the warrants anyway, and then you got some of these police officers who are all too eager to please that will engage in this militarized attack upon American citizens with all the technology that they have they could have easily have found out who was in that house and what was going on it would have just taken a little more effort for a little less tragedy you remember 82 year old woman that was shot down by the police on a no knock warrant here in Atlanta Georgia so and, and I'm going to tell you something this is going to be an ugly truth and it's going to make some more of you mad I weep for baby boo boo that's what they're, they're calling the child. Uh, and I think that's the way you pronounce it, B-O-U-B-O-U. -B -O -U. So I weep for that child, and I'm sorry. But I know the people that are responsible for what that child uh, experience are the voters who voted for the lawmakers that passed that damn law in the first place. They are the ones responsible for what happened to that baby. Now, I know, but you got to blame the police officers. <clears throat> Excuse me. I explain you got two, times, two kinds of cops. Those that follow lawful orders, laws that have been passed and are deemed lawful, even though they may be immoral, because there was once a time slavery <clears throat> and there were laws that promoted it, <clears throat> excuse me, and officers of the law enforced it. When did it change? <clears throat> when people started voting for people that were willing to get rid of those immoral, bad laws that violated the constitutional protections guaranteed by our founding fathers through the framework of the constitution. And that's what it comes down to. And I close with telling them, 
if you continue to vote for those people like Jack Kingston um, that are willing to violate your constitutional protections and those down there in the uh, uh, gold dome and they need to find out who the people are that were responsible for submitting that legislation and getting that legislation passed so that they can be fired because they are guilty of murder so that they can be fired summarily no second chance just get on out the office and if you want a second chance do it someplace else but you've lost your right to serve the people because you sought to lead and oppress the people through tyrannical laws and that's what it comes down to people T-Mod out, drive time till next time. American citizens have now become the enemy, enemy combatants of our federal government, our state, and local governments. Peace.